Hey, this is Evan Mark Katz, dating coach for smart, strong, successful women and your personal trainer for love. 13,000 women have now gone through Love You and have had their lives transformed. All of them have access to a library of videos that covers everything you need to know about dating relationships and men. Uh, month one is on confidence. Month two is on meeting men. Month three is on dating. Month four is on understanding men. Month five is on relationships. Month six is about commitment. And remember, Love You is not just a video curriculum. It's a Facebook community. It's a coaching process. It's a movement where women are the CEOs and men are the interns. It may be the first time you've ever had a man dedicated to listening to you and put your interests first. So I'm very honored to be your dating coach and I'm really excited to give you um, some more free information about how you can make better decisions in love. Today is day five of our New Year, New You campaign, and I wanna tell you about Rebecca. Rebecca is a Love You Masters client. She's in her mid-30s. She's got a great job. She's intellectually curious. She's really self-aware. I love working with her. And since she's been in Love You, she's gone through a tremendous amount of growth in a short period of time, and it shows. She's already been through one relationship, quickly recovered from it, and found herself a new boyfriend only a few months later. Today, we will call him Ryan. Ryan is everything that Rebecca ever wanted in a man. He's handsome, he's successful, he's ambitious, he's responsible. There's only one problem with Ryan. He spends a little much, too much time thinking about Ryan. And Rebecca gets it. When you find a guy who's got multiple careers and multiple streams of income and a social media following and a new home, and he's not even 40 yet, there's a guy who's got a lot going on in Ryan land. But still, there's a limit. And after putting on the good girlfriend hat and sacrificing an entire weekend to support him in one of his business endeavors, her efforts didn't feel appreciated. And because she was tired and resentful, Rebecca and Ryan got into a big fight that tested the boundaries of their relationship. Now, to be clear, I'm, I'm on team Rebecca, obviously, I'm her, her coach. But just because she's right about Ryan's lack of appreciation doesn't mean that she handled things perfectly. If she can't communicate her needs without starting a fight, her relationship is gonna have some serious challenges as long as they're together. So my job as her dating coach is to show her how to be more effective when having important discussions with her boyfriend. And together we use a three-step technique that uh, I've borrowed from uh, a book called Kiss Your Fights Goodbye by Dr. Jamie Turndorf. And this three-step technique is really simple and it works magic. Number one, validate and praise. Number two, express your feelings without attacking. Number three, come up with a reasonable solution that he can buy into. So where Rebecca blew up at the end of a long, hard, thankless day of working behind the scenes to make her boyfriend's event a success, in a future iteration of this, she would probably sit him down and say something like this. Ryan, I'm so proud of you about what you've accomplished. It's an amazing achievement, and I hope you leave this weekend feeling really good about your business and your income. I'm constantly amazed at what you do when you put your mind to it, and I feel really lucky to be your girlfriend. Now, this may not be the first thing that Rebecca is feeling at the moment, but it happens to be the truth. And if she's going to try to connect with her boyfriend so that he listens to her and tries to please her, it makes sense to lead with warmth and admiration rather than scorn and hatred. Now that she has Ryan a little bit warmed up, she can get to the second part of her speech, the part where she expresses her feelings and offers constructive feedback without attacking him or making him wrong. That's the key. So, Ryan, as you know, I had a lot going on in my life, but I put it aside to be there for you when you needed me. I hope I was helpful. I hope you, I freed you up to be more present at your event. And I know it wasn't your intention, but I left the weekend feeling a little sad and resentful. I know it was your thing and not mine, and I know you had a lot on your mind. But instead of feeling like your girlfriend, I kind of felt like an hourly employee. I didn't feel acknowledged. I didn't feel appreciated. And by the end of the weekend, I didn't feel very good, even though I was glad to have devoted my time to assisting you. Notice that she's not telling him he is a selfish and sensitive prick. She's letting him know how he unintentionally, because he's a good man, unintentionally made her feel when he failed to acknowledge her efforts. And here's the thing. Good boyfriends hate to make their girlfriends feel unhappy, especially when they didn't even realize they were doing anything wrong. So chances are, when she says this, her boyfriend's going to 
take responsibility, apologize for his mistake, and ask for forgiveness. But there's one more step. The solution for when the situation comes up again. So I just wanted to get this off my chest, Ryan. I, I really appreciate you listening to my feelings. I understand if you are not your best on Sunday. In the future, if you want my assistance, it would really mean a lot to me if you introduce me as your girlfriend, if you made a point to check in during the day a few times, and maybe if you took me out to dinner after we were all done to celebrate our work. Is that something you can do for me, Ryan? Perfectly reasonable. Naturally, the guy is going to say yes, and he's going to appreciate that you're the only woman he's ever met who is so calm and reasonable after he did something upsetting. And he's going to value that trait even more than you know, and work even harder to be the man that you want him and expect him to be. Knowing how to communicate with your boyfriend like this does not, as you can tell, come naturally. It's a skill. It takes practice. But when it pays off, you will marvel at how easy your relationship becomes. So do yourself a favor. Find the link below. Click to watch the video. Give me your email address. Apply to love you and you can finally get the easy, functional relationship that you've always craved with a man who listens and always tries to make you happy. My calendar's filling up, time's running out. You wanna find love this year, make it happen. I look forward to seeing you in class. Thanks a lot.